of us who haven't met Ale, he's a spiritual teacher. I like to call him like, um, people call him men of God. People call him prophet. People call him apostle. <laughs> they have all kind of names for me. So Some people teacher, call him teacher, professor. But, but he's a good friend. <laughs> one, of, one of the things I can say about Alan, like that is consistent. He's a good friend. He loves you so much that he will tell you the truth. <laughs> Even if it hurts, he will rather that you're mad at him if you want, if you choose to. But in the end, the truth will heal Amen. because he loves you that much. So mm -hmm. that's the kind of person he is. And so today, are you ready? I am ready. And he's always ready, guys. <laughs> so today, I just want to bring up something that all of us can relate as long as we are on this planet Earth, as you know, yeah. we are going to face challenges. Mm -hmm. um, now, you know, I always ask myself, what is the best way to approach a challenge mm. that comes into our lives? Mm -hmm. By approach, what do you mean? Like when a challenge comes up, mm -hmm. maybe uh, a family member, right? um calls with a with, with a with a challenge or okay. with, a, with a situation mm -hmm. uh, maybe you know somebody that you love so dearly is going through mm, okay. you know just got a, a recent diagnosis and they are in so much pain emotionally physically. so more like difficult situations difficult situations including difficult people too though yeah sometimes at work you have people so so anything that poses as a challenge and that just literally takes you off guard mm, you know, perhaps and then causing an emotional painful reaction from the to show up. from the emotional body thank you so much for that question um the first thing i will say is and this can be difficult when you are too intellectual mm -hmm. the universe has a balance there's a balance sheet in the universe the universe is not a blind force mm -hmm. And everything that shows up in your life is part of your curriculum. Let me say that again. Anything that will show up in your life is part of your curriculum. The good, bad, the ugly. It doesn't <laughs> matter. It's part of your curriculum. The, the first approach, right, is to ask yourself, okay, this thing is showing up in my life and in my universe for a reason that is beyond the intellect. Even if it's something that's not directly related, related to, you. to you, it's coming. And I'm going to explain that. Once you understand that it has arrived in your energy field or universe for a reason beyond your intellect, the second thing you want to ask yourself is, you want to remember is this. We are here on planet Earth for two main reasons. To heal and to evolve. Simple. When you heal, you raise your vibration. Mm -hmm. When you evolve, you align with the laws of the universe. Mm -hmm. Let me say it again. When you heal, you raise your vibration. When you evolve, you align with the laws of the universe. And that causes you to expand as well, I would say. Exactly. So yeah. when something happens in your universe, right. the, what you want to look at is what is coming out of you. Mm -hmm. And once you notice the feelings, the energies that are coming, the thoughts that is pulling out of you, you can make a list of that. Mm -hmm. That's what is part of your curriculum to heal. That's so mm -hmm. profound. You see? That is... So, so once I'm you, getting healed by right Once now. you have <laughs> what... Because now you are a conscious being. You are not on planet Earth as a random consciousness anymore. You, you are actively aware... And you know what is taking place. So something comes into your universe, is in my universe. It came into my energy field for a reason beyond my internet, intellect. Number two, I'm reminding myself that I'm here on planet Earth for two main reasons, to heal and to evolve. When I heal, I raise my vibration. When I evolve, I align with the laws of the universe. So if you heal 10%, you are going to evolve 10%. Mm -hmm. You heal 20%, you're going to evolve 20%. Fair enough. But here's the power. In each, each time you evolve, you feel freer. Yeah. Your energy is free. And when you are free, you experience what I call the three W's. You experience well-being, which we call happiness. You experience wellness, which we call health. And you experience wealth, 
which we call abundance. The part of your, because anything that happens, you're going to have to process it through two types of archetypes in you, mm -hmm. your shadow self mm -hmm. and your light self. And so we, we use the word resonance usually. Mm -hmm. We say something doesn't resonate with you. Let me tell you something. Everything resonates with you because everything has a frequency. Let me explain. When you say something is not resonating with you, what you're saying is, is only resonating with your shadow self. The part of you that you want to push away. Mm -hmm. So non-resonance is a feeling. So if you're feeling something, it means it's resonating. <laughs> but not the way you want it to resonate, but it's resonating. But when you process the event and then you process it through your light self, you say, oh, this resonates with me. But you always resonate. Okay. So the, your job is, okay, how much of my shadow self do I want to move into my light self? Mm -hmm. So anything that happened in your life, when you notice one needs to be healed, which is part of your shadow self, mm -hmm. The moment you heal it, if you heal 10%, mm -hmm. if that 10% of your shadow self will move into your light self. So you constantly going to be moving a portion of your shadow self into your light self and your light self is going to become bigger. And as your light self is becoming bigger, you experience more freedom. Oh my goodness. And the more freedom you experience, the more capacity you have to create, mm -hmm. to manifest, to work with energy. That's right. You understand? And as you begin to do that, you begin to experience what I just called the three W's. You begin to experience well-being, which is happiness, which is actually God within you. And you begin to experience wellness, which is the manifestation of God in your body, in your mind, in every part of you. And you begin to experience wealth or abundance, which is the manifestation of God into the material universe or your material life. I got it. So let's take a, I just really want this to be so, this is so good. I don't know <laughs> if you are getting enlightened, spiritually awakened. Yeah. Your vibration is probably going high, yes. sky high. But let's, let's, let's go back a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you a quick example. Okay. Let's say, let's say, okay, a, a good friend of mine yeah. is calling me. Mm -hmm. She's in pain. Yes. She just experienced a heavy breakup. Yes. Okay. So because that's my friend. If I'm understanding your insight, mm -hmm. first of all, this is not just happening to my friend. You got the point. Because it's showing up in my universe. It's part of your curriculum. It's part of my curriculum. Absolutely. So number one, when something happens, it's not just this person is going through something. Mm -hmm. I, I feel their pain, but it's it's happening to them, but it's happening for my for me. Yes, because it's step in your universe. Let me give right. you an example of that. So let's say the friend called you and you, you don't know what to tell them. Mm -hmm. You know what that means? There is ignorance is actually um, a spiritual disease. Mm. When the Bible said my pe my people perish for lack of knowledge, right. the ignorance is a disease of the mind and the soul. So whenever somebody comes into your universe with a problem and you don't have a solution for it, it's an invitation for you to be healed from that ignorance. I like that. You see, to be healed from it and begin to ask yourself, okay, my soul must evolve. Mm -hmm. So my soul is asking me through this invitation mm -hmm. to begin to learn about death, to begin to learn about how to help people when they are going through death and going through, they don't loss. know how to grieve and loss. You heal from that, you move a portion of you to the light. Your friend now, both of you now, you will evolve. You will be able to explore that gift and that will expand who you really are. So then challenges... Um, have come through, through us, mm -hmm. even if it's for somebody else. Yes. But how we react to what's happening to a friend mm -hmm. is an invitation for us to heal. It's an invitation to heal. And an, an invitation to evolve. And Yes. And, and then, then the, more, the more you evolve, the more freer you feel, the more creative you become. And, and sometimes the, we think when we're talking about healing, people only think about traumatic, traumatic event and pain. No. What you don't know, you need to be healed from. Because the majority of the things you're dealing with in your life that feels like you're stuck, mm -hmm. what does it mean to be stuck? To be stuck simply means you don't have the tools to move forward. Mm -hmm. And not, not having tools to move forward simply means ignorance. You are in the dark. It's part of your shadow self. So that's an invitation for you to bring that part into wisdom, into mm -hmm. knowledge, into light, so that you can evolve. This is so powerful. I feel like I can't wait for the next challenge. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, no, we're not invite, inviting challenge. They Making come. Challenge. They will come. They will come because yeah. I believe that the deepest part of us, the higher self, God in us, yes. knows what we can handle and what we need to 
uh, go through go through next yes. for our evolution absolutely so thank you so much for this answer i believe that is going to take us further into our spiritual evolution amen until next time friends bye-bye bye-bye